Blue! Loud B. Is it four o'clock already? Hi, Cassie. Whoa, be careful now, kid. I'm not gonna be able to finish with these boxes if you squeeze me to death. Do you need help? Well, now that you mention it, get on inside, put your backpack away, and come on out with that box I put by the door. Okay. The birds sound really nice today. Come on now. Sorry. And be careful. It might be a little heavy for you. So how was school? It was good, I guess. You guess? Well, this Dwayne boy keeps making fun of me in science. It's really starting to get on my nerves. Do I need to go down there and kick his ass? No, no, I can handle that on my own. Oh, okay, Mike Tyson. So, did anything good happen today? Oh, this girl Marie sat with me at lunch today. I've never really seen her around before, but she asked me if I wanted to hang out again. What'd you say? I didn't know what to say. It's been a long time since someone's asked to hang out. It was awkward. And I don't really have a lot of friends, you know? Well, seems like Marie wants to give it a shot. She invited me to a sleepover party tonight. See? You should totally go to that! Where's it at? By the old bridge. Alrighty then. Hey, you know what? I got something for you. Really? I was saving it for a special occasion. And I think this counts. Something to impress the girls with at the sleepover. Mama's necklace? I found it while I was clearing out their stuff. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, settle down. Let's go inside. You can pack a bag, and I can freshen up. Where are you going? Your big brother's got himself a date. No way. Is it that hard to believe? Who is it? Is she pretty? Her name's Katie. I met her while I was on the job at the store. I think she's one of the kindergarten teachers. The young one? Mm-hmm. Oh, she is pretty. Yeah. This thing is choking me. I don't think I can wear it. You look nice. All right. Well, be careful crossing that bridge on the way there. I will. Okay. See you in the morning. Hey. What if they don't like me? What are you talking about? Of course they'll like you. You're Cassie goddamn Emerson! Who wouldn't like you? Okay. And even if they don't like me, I'll still have you. That's right. Now go have fun. Look good? Perfect. So, it's just you and your sister? Yeah. Well, Mama passed short after Cassie was born, and Dad got leukemia a couple years back. Didn't last too long. That's awful. I'm sorry, it must have been hard. It was for a while. Dad left me the house, and hell, I didn't know what to do with it. 18 year old kid trying to pay the bills. What'd you do? Well, got desperate. Got into some rough parts of town. Eventually, I got into trouble with the law, which 
Set me straight. Now I'm working as a bag boy at the grocery store. <laughs> Been working there for the past year. Now I'm boxing up the folk stuff to sell. Got a mountain of boxes just sitting in my front yard. You're leaving them overnight? Believe me, if someone wanted to steal them, they'd be doing me a big favor. <laughs> but, really, the goal is to get Cassie through school. You two must have a great bond. Hell, oh, Cassie's the best kid you'll ever meet. I swear, if her heart was any bigger, it'd explode. I see her on the school. <laughs> yeah, she's always smiling. You know Cassie? Of course. Small town, small school, all the teachers love her. That's good to hear. I just wish we wouldn't have such trouble making friends. Well, kids can be cruel. I'll drink to that. So, you're a kindergarten teacher. Yep. I'm the one trying to teach the kids not to be cruel. You're not doing a great job. <laughs> I know! <laughs> <laughs> You've always wanted to be a teacher? Well, I wanted to be a movie star when I was little. <laughs> Didn't we all? But yeah, kids are the future. <laughs> That's great. My mom told me to never ask people about their parents, but I just have to. Is Blue your real name? Wow. No one's ever asked me that before. Really? Shit. Everyone asked me that. <laughs> I'm surprised you lasted this long. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a polite young lady. I see. But, yes, my parents named me after my eye. Well, I got that part. <laughs> Just was wondering if it was a nickname or... Blue for the blue eye. Huh. Seems a bit lazy. Polite young lady, you said. <laughs> oh, quit it. <laughs> So, Baloo, I have a place of my own, not too far, if you, I don't know, want to get out of here? Love the stars. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> Will I be seeing you? I'd be a madman if I said no. <laughs> <laughs> you got my number. I do. Well then, have a nice morning, Miss Owens. You know it's me. It's me. I come by here every day. Okay, it's too early for all this. You're making a ruckus. Whatever someone told you, it wasn't me. It's okay. Not that. Actually, you're gonna get a kick Blue, out of this. We're not I here was for you. Look, son. I don't know a good way of saying this, but it's about your sister. Can we take this inside?
I I don't understand, detectives. She was at a sleepover. She was. Apparently she got in a fight with some kid and decided to go home. Why didn't she call me? Well, Marie's mother tried, but she said that you weren't around. Cassie really wanted to go, so Marie's mother told her to just call her when she got home. When Cassie didn't call, that's when Marie's mother called us. From the body in the river, not too far from the old bridge. Now, Blue, is there anyone you know who has something against your family? No. You mean against Cassie? No. No chance. Wait, what are you trying to say exactly? We found some security footage a couple blocks away from the bridge. So there's Cassie. It's hard to tell, but notice she's clutching something around her neck. Yeah, yeah, that, that's our mama's necklace. Okay, now look. This man follows her. He pulls something from his belt and checks it for a while. Again, hard to make out, but we think it could be a gun. We don't have any footage of the bridge, so that's the best we got. Are you saying she was murdered? We're not ruling it out. That necklace wasn't on the body, Blue. So I'll ask again. Is there anyone who would want to hurt Cassie? I, I, I don't think so. I made sure no one knew about her. Okay then. Listen that footage to get processed. Try to get a clear visual. We'll be in contact if anything comes up. And Blue, I'm so sorry. Shoot. Blue? Security footage has been cleared up. We can see the man more clearly now. I sent you an email. See if you recognize him. Alright, give me a sec. Afraid not. Uh, 
I gotta go, detective. Hey, you do. I heard what happened, are you? Oh God, you look terrible. Katie, I can't talk right now. I called you a few times, but you didn't pick up, so I got worried. I asked around and figured out where you lived. I came to see if you were doing all right, and clearly you're not. You didn't expect me to be doing the two-step, did you? No, of course not. You hear any birds today? Usually they're singing around this time, and I, I can't seem to hear them. It's been three days, and I just wanted to make sure that you weren't going to do anything crazy. Look, it's very kind of you to check up on me. But I really have to get going. I'm so sorry about Cassie. People are saying that there could be a suspect. Any word on that? Blue! Go home, Katie. No, wait a second. Where are you going? Why is that? Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? It's better if you don't know. What do you think that's going to get you? Peace? Answers! This is something I have to do. Please, stay out of it. Dragged in. You got a second, Marcus? Sure, buddy, anything for you. I thought you went straight. What brings you around here? I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for a man, average height, black hair, hangs around your crowd. Don't know him. I don't want to play any games with you. All right? Who is he? Look, buddy, I think you might have forgotten how the rules go in this side of town. I'm not gonna tell you shit. I know you sold him a piece, Marcus. I sell a lot of things to a lot of people, Bluey. Said it's, it's got nothing to do with, uh, never told me he had a sister. My condolences. She was very cute. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Blue. Give me a name. How do you even know it was one of my guns, huh? The same one you sold me, asshole. One of a kind, you said? You really gonna shoot me? That'd be a waste of bullets. Nice <laughs> hit. I can't tell you. Buyer consumer confidentiality, you know? Blue, stop! Stay out of this! Please, don't keep hurting him! He's not worth it! He knows who did it! I won't stop until I get a name. Then what, Blue? And then what, Blue? No!
Don't make this harder than it needs to be. I know you, man. You ain't got that in you. Don't underestimate a man with nothing left to lose. Knoxville! Riley Knoxville. He's a small time crook. He spent some time in county. I sold him the piece, yeah. You know, that's how it goes. Where is he? He works nights at a warehouse, Marshall Street. That's all I know, I swear to God. Just what do you think you're doing? Going to the police. You can't. Why not? You can find him yourself? I have to. Why not let the police handle it? What are they gonna do? Put him in a cell? Why should he live after- You can't kill him, Blue. Let God pass judgment on him, not you. No God would let this happen to a happy 14-year-old girl. You're angry. I understand. No, you don't. You couldn't possibly understand, Katie. I wasn't there. I didn't pick up the phone. Blue, it's not your fault. You don't have to do this. You still have a choice. You know that, right? The choice was made when he killed her. I'm not changing my mind. Not for you. Not for anyone. Fine then. I'll stay out of it. I don't want anything to do with it anymore. But I know the person I saw in there isn't the real you. You don't know me. Don't act like you do. I'm sorry. You won't get the feeling you think you need. If you're looking for revenge, you better dig two graves. One for yourself. Don't move. Shit! Knoxville! Knoxville... Turn and look at me. Look, man, I, I got out. 
I'm, 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 I'm trying to go straight. Bullshit. Please, I, 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 I have a family. So did I. And you took her from me. What do you... Tell me. What'd you do with the pearls, Riley boy? <laughs> you sell them? Or did you give them to your mama? Is that, is that what this is about? You got it all wrong, man. I didn't, I didn't kill her. Be careful what you're about to say. I, well, like I said, I, I'm trying to go straight. I, I got this job, but I have a five-year-old daughter, and she's sick. I was, I was going home from work when I saw that girl walking with her pearls, and I thought, I, 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 I could get some extra cash for those. I, I just thought it would be easy. I, I didn't mean to... I, I was just going to take the pearls, but she got scared. S -s Step back and... Fell off. Don't lie to me. I swear she fell off. It was an accident. She would have fallen if you didn't mug her. Didn't Why'd you scare her? her? Why'd you point a gun at her? Please, I'm sorry. You're right. I just... The medical pills, man. Here, here. Her name's Sarah. Please. She just started school before she got sick. I have to be there for her. If anything happens to me, that's it for her. Sarah? That's right. Sarah. My sister's name was Cassie. I'm so sorry. You have to understand. I do understand. This is for her. Please! Close your eyes and count to ten. Do it! One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten,